Today I have visited this home just uh, to come and eulogize and condole with the family of uh, late, the late president, our son from Nyeri and a true Kenyan at heart, the late uh, His Excellency Mwai Kibaki. Uh, as a son of Nyeri, some of us were um, actually pulled into leadership by seeing how Kib uh, His Excellency Mwai Kibaki changed this country. I had the opportunity to work with uh, my former governor, the late Dr. Ahomega Kuru, who worked very, very closely with uh, His, uh, His Excellency Mwai Kibaki on the Vision 2030. He was my governor uh, before he passed on. And I do recall the words he kept reminding me about Kibaki. And he would tell me that, uh, you know, I would ask him now, when you people took over government, at a time that uh, everything was dilapidated, the uh, infrastructure was run down, the country was run down, donors were pulling out, we were in the grips of the World Bank, what did you really do? And he told me, in a meeting, Kibaki, just, uh, His Excellency President Kibaki just told them, seal the loopholes. That's all. Once you seal the loopholes, you will get money to do everything you do. And he built the economy. He was able to change this country. He never once had a scandal around corruption. He never allowed uh, his friends or people to do business with the government. These are things we have seen and we really, really appreciate. So today as I eulogize and as I condole with this family, I am encouraged, as I just have told Judy Kibaki, I have told her she's lucky to have had such a dad. And they as a family must know that Kenya is the poorer with the demise of His Excellency Mwai Kibaki. For us as a people of Nyeri, yes, we've lost our son. We have lost a great statesman beyond everything else. We pray that God will provide for us.